What's up guys? Welcome back to Weapons Wednesday and today we're going to be discussing the P322 LR. We're going to be getting our first hands-on, first shots in it, see how it feels and just go from there. Before we get too far into it, I want to thank Rain City Tactical for being a huge sponsor of this channel. If you guys are in the Kent area of Washington, go check out the Rain City Shooting Center in Kent and go check them out. Awesome, awesome guys, have an awesome membership at their gun range, great gun store, super knowledgeable, have, they have classes, uh, you can take, uh, they make custom holsters. Uh, the wait list is a, little, it is, is a little lengthy if you need something custom, but again, great work, great stuff. Go check them out, tell them that Frank sent you and you will get a discount or be at least taken care of at the very least. So with that said, let's dive into the P322 LR. Now, this is gonna be really fun and cool to shoot. I'm actually super excited to do this review on this. Uh, this is my first time picking one up and putting some rounds through one. This is a, so in its class, has the highest capacity, uh, highest magazine capacity of any, of any of the 22s in its class. So the standard magazine is 20 rounds, which, gives it that, 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 those bragging rights. Now, moving from the front to the back, it's overall length of seven inches, uh, comes in at just about 17 ounces, which is what you'd expect from a 22. I don't wanna carry 22 that makes me feel like I'm carrying something heavier than that. Now, the, uh, has a uh, fiber optic front sight, fiber optic rear sights that are also adjustable, also comes optics cut, which is awesome. I don't know that I'm gonna throw an optic on here um, or that I would throw an optic on here. Um, it has the rail. I don't know if I would throw any sort of light on here or anything like that, but to uh, teach their own, right? So as we f move further back, you obviously see the straight trigger. It comes with both the straight trigger and the curved trigger, so you can choose which one you feel or like more. It also has ambidextrous, ambidextrous uh, controls. So you'll see right here uh, that it has the slide lock on both sides. So this side and on the opposite side. So even for you lefties, you weirdos out there, you guys can still control the slide lock. Now, it also has, like every 22 pistol, a safety, so that it has ambidextrous safeties as well. Now, it feels really good in the hand. Um, it feels like every other SIG that, that you're gonna pick up, uh, very close to the, to the, uh, the SIG macro. Um, that's what it kind of reminds me of. It's obviously a little bit bigger, um, but that's kind of what it reminds me of uh, feel-wise. So with that said, and those things out of the way, let's put a few rounds through it and see where we end up and see, see what it feels like. Um, whew. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so. Here's the uh, standard mag. And we're just gonna pop off a couple rounds and see what it feels like. Yeah, it's super controllable. Like it is, it feels, it feels nice in the hands. Like you, uh, it's a 22. You're not going to have a lot of recoil as it is, but it still feels like it's a lot. I really don't feel it much. Yeah, that is a solid little 22, if I may say so myself. Um, I would highly recommend uh, this to just about anybody. Um, the other nice thing um, that's kind of cool is this, this uh, and I never really noticed this, to be totally honest with you, but it looks like this is actually a, a threaded barrel, which is kind of cool. So you could potentially throw a espresso on here. But with that said, um, yeah, that felt great. Um, first time through, uh, you had a couple 
uh, no fires, but I think that was honestly the ammo that was that was on me. Um, but yeah, a great little uh, 22 for you to own. If again, if you're gonna go out and buy a 22, um, man, this might this might actually be my favorite now um, of all of all the 22s I've shot. It shot. It felt super flat. It it just uh, yeah, it just uh, it felt really good in the hands. It felt like it, all, all all the other six that I shoot. So I might have to go pick one of these up. But yeah, if you guys are in the Canterbury of Washington, I think they have a couple more of these. You might be able to pick one up and check it out. Um, but uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. I will see you guys for Frag Out Friday next week. Uh, we're going to be covering the PID from, from Hollow Sun. We're also going to be giving a PID away. So make sure you guys tune in for that and get into that free giveaway. I'll see you guys next time. As always, stay loose, battle on, and if you bitch in your heart, it'll show.